Hey guys, the Zap giveaway has ended, so congrats to Matt Matt 7314 Please make sure to hit me up on my Twitter with proof. My DMs are always open. Congrats. Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing this Magic Archer NATO deck on ladder, and I'm currently 18-0 with this deck. Super fun deck to play. Magic Archer NATO is a really annoying combo, but also really fun. And I'm top 1 on my other accounts, so I'm going to be playing on my mini account. I'll try to push up, see you when I find a match. Alright, I'm in my first match here, facing Nikolaus. Nikolaus. Gonna wall breakers in the back to cycle. Wall breakers in the back, split, or like all the way up high split is such a good play. Really good first play, by the way. One of the best first plays. Okay, kind of bad spear cups. I don't know why I thought the wall breakers were going to make it, but yeah, we don't talk about that. I'm gonna log on the right here to cycle. Okay, this kind of looks like maybe Axe Bell, because he played archers and nothing else. I don't think he'd be leaking though if he had Axe Bell. Okay, he played a knight too. I don't know what deck this could be. Just gonna go for a marcher right now for the knight and see if I can get some damage. I'm also gonna wall breakers on the other side. Oh, he's playing Graveyard. Okay, should be an okay matchup. I have to try to get a King Tower activation off a of bowler or something along the lines of that, but defense should not be that bad. I'm gonna log here and then I'm gonna pull the eye drag back. I'm gonna keep it away from my tower. Oh my god, I didn't even need it. Wait, my log took out all the skeletons. Wow, okay. I think I used up all my luck for like the next five years. Holy crap. <laughs> that was so lucky. I killed all the skeletons with that log. I can't believe it. Okay, anyways, I'm going to keep my elixir for now. I'm going to reset, and I'm probably going to march it in the back to cycle. I'm going to wait for him to make a play, though. If not, then I'm probably going to wall breakers, because I've got the evil lord. Oh my god, he lost. That's a free king tower activation. He lost. Okay, so right here, he's going to have to, like, nato this marcher or, like, go for, like, archers on it. Yeah, that means he has no elixir right now. He's at one elixir. And I'm up a lot, so I can just bomb tower tornado the bowler in, get the activation, and go for skeletons on the left here and not take that one night shot. There we go. Okay, it wasn't even going to get a shot, but I kind of got scared. But that is going to be a nice king tower activation and a good game. I think he knows it too. This guy's not too happy about that activation. Let's go. I knew that the moment he cycled bowler in the back, like I won the game because that's a free activation. Do not ever bowler in the back unless you need it on defense for like a wall breakers or something. Spear gobs in the back to cycle. Let's go for the eye drag on the other side. I'm going to wall breakers and then minor on the right. Not back to bowler, so I'm playing pretty aggressive. Okay, he's back to it now, but I'm going to march her on the BBD. Ooh. Oh, really bad NATO. Hold on. Oh, I was going to tornado, but not worth it. I'm going to NATO this back, though, just to take out the arches and then going to spear gobs here so I don't get froze on. Okay, going to evo skeletons at the bridge to try to take out the evo knight. I thought he would go in for some reason, but I should have known that he wasn't going to go in. That would have been a pretty bad graveyard. It doesn't even matter though. I just have to like play it safe now. Okay, I'm gonna minor on this spot. I don't think the King Tower hits from there. Oh, never mind. It does. But I dodged the tornado though. He tried to hit a prediction tornado on my miner. Okay, he gave up. Let's go. That guy got destroyed. This guy absolutely got destroyed. I'm not even gonna lie. Wow. <laughs> okay, he's not too happy about it either. I'm gonna cut the game. I will see you in my next match. Alright, I'm in my next match here. Facing Wallace. See what deck he's playing. Also, guys, I'm doing really well this season. I have, like, a really good um, top one video recorded. I think I have two of those, actually, because I've just been top one for, like, the last four, almost five days now. So I'm going to try to hold on to it, but my spring break ends, like, next week. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to really grind as much, but hopefully I will. That was a lot of elixir. Damn, okay. He overspent a lot on that mortar, but I can't really do much. Just going to have to sit there and kind of let the mortar die i guess i'll go wall breakers and then skelly's in front to kind of bait out like a response he's gonna have to go for like a spirit on it too yeah let's go for the ice spirit okay i'm gonna go for a miner right now and then i'll see if he's gonna want a mortar okay goblins not too bad i should be up like a little bit oh bad night really bad night hold on i'm gonna spare gobs okay he should be at like five elixir on the dog he's at three now i'm gonna have to pull this back though those are gonna die but it's okay oh my god okay he's overspending so much i don't know what the log was by the way he didn't even need it but i guess it was the cycle i guess it doesn't matter i don't know but he is gonna be up one elixir now because he got a three for four and i kind of just sold my elixir lead because i wanted to spam to get damage but i don't know i just wasn't able to get any damage on the tower i got some with a minor but like i wasn't able to get more it's okay though defense is gonna be pretty easy on my end it's kind of what i'm worried about right now but defense should be fine so i think i'll be okay i'm gonna keep the bomb tower ready he also has not played a minor yet by the way it's pretty interesting I'm gonna keep the nato ready for the hog nope okay no nato all right i'm just gonna go for spear gobs here and then he might try to go for like a knight in front and go minor okay i'm gonna magic archer oh oh he's playing hog rider okay 
Well, this just got like a lot more easier because my NATO is going to get a lot of value. I have a building and a NATO, so he's never going to really get any damage off the Hog Rider. Only thing I have to watch out for is the Mortar, but Mortar is pretty easy to defend in my opinion with this deck. Going to log for the Goblins. Oh, he messed up. He messed up the Knight. Magic Archer on the tower. Nice. That was a lot of damage. Okay, I'm going to Spare Gobs high and then I guess I'll go Wallbreakers on the Mortar and then I'll go Skellies in the middle to keep distracting. Wallbreakers should go ahead and take out the Mortar maybe. I'm going to Bomb Tower middle too. Okay, I got him to waste the Evo Zap and I took out the Mortar. That was amazing. I couldn't have asked for like a better defense right there. Okay, I could try to go for maybe a March or NATO, but I don't know if I want to. He might try to block it with a Mortar or something. Yeah, let's go for the Mortar. Okay, I'm going to go for a Marcher down low. This is going to get a lot of value. Look, look at how much value this is going to get. It's going to hit the Mortar, the LP, and the Knight. Okay, never mind. I am not good at the game. <laughs> okay. It's fine. They still got a lot of value, but I thought it was going to get more. I'm going to Marcher right now. He should not be able to stop it. And that is going to be a ton of damage. I'm going to NATO this back, too, because I have plenty of defense for the Hog Rider. I've got a Bomb Tower. I've got a Cannoneer. Cannoneer gets a lot of value. And I've also got, like, Skeletons if I need it, but I probably don't. Yeah, I don't need it. Really bad Hog Rider. And... Thing is, he doesn't have a big spell, so he can never take out my Bomb Tower in the middle. Such a good matchup. Wait, did he give up? I think he gave up. Okay, let's go. Completely destroyed this guy, too. Let's go. Super fun deck to play. Like, if you know what you're doing with cycle cards and you have good micros, then... And, like, good game sense, then you can always, like, almost always outplay any kind of matchup with this deck. I'm gonna hop right in, see when I find a match. Okay, I'm in my next match. You're facing Q Light. See what deck this guy's playing. Okay, this guy's a lot lower than me, so I cannot afford to lose. Spear Gob's first play right here. Um, Knight. Okay, I'm going to Wallbreak is on the left. My Cannoneer should take out the Knight. I might need to log it, actually. Oh, he messed up the Rage on the Wallbreakers. I get one connection. Let's go. Dude, it actually surprises me how often people mess that up because it's not even like a hard timing on the Rage. Like, you just have to put it on the Tower and the Wallbreakers at the same time. But people mess it up so often. Okay, I'm going to get ready with a Bomb Tower. Really bad matchup, by the way. Sparky's not good at all. I'm going to have to watch out and try to defend... Good in single. I think I might take like a sparky hit or two in single. I can't take two actually. I have a cannon here. I'm going to die if I take two. Spear gobs here. So I bait out the arrows or something. No, he predicted me. Okay, that was a really good prediction. I should have seen it coming though. For some reason, I thought that he was going to try to arrows on the spear gobs on the bomb tower. So I put the skeletons kind of predicting the arrows. But yeah, it didn't work. Whatever. Okay, I get two shots. Three, one more. Now I'm not going to nade out that though. Okay, really bad. Um... Mini Pekka, by the way, he's going to have to rage, and he's going to be at no elixir. Nice, okay, I'm going to Skeletons here. Alright, then I'm going to Miner, and then I'm back to Evil Breaker. So I'm going to put them down at two elixir, and he's not going to be able to defend it. Let's go. I love when people think I overcommitted, and then, like, randomly spam the bridge. Like, for example, this guy thought I overcommitted with the Marcher on the opposite lane, so he just put a Mini Pekka at the bridge. But I've got cheap cycle cards, so I just put, like, Spear Gobs in the middle, and go Skellies, and then just go Miner Breakers and get damage. That's why you really have to be careful as a beatdown player. Like, a cycle player can make a few mistakes and still get away with it, but a beatdown player cannot make a mistake like that where you're going to get punished really hard. Thing is, you can definitely bounce back as a beatdown player, though, because all you need is one good push. But let's see what he does here. March your opposite lane, by the way. I don't know why I did that, but huh? maybe he's not going to defend it. Hopefully not. I need to get my Evo Skellies to do something here. Okay, I'm not going to NATO that for sure. I need to... Focus on defense right now. I'm going to NATO this to, then I'm going to Wallbreakers the tank. I'm going to go for Skeletons. He's going to Arrows, and then I'll try to go for a Log and then Spear Gops on the Sparky. Okay, maybe Surround it. Oh, I definitely did not Surround it. Yeah, I kind of choked the Surround, but it's okay. I defended fine, so I just have to go for like a few Minor Breakers on the left now. Yeah, I'm going to try to take the Tower. going to go for a Minor. Ooh, easy lineup. Let me take that. He might block it though. Oh, he choked the block too. Let's go. Okay, I actually don't need a marcher on defense, so that was perfect. Like, a marcher is not going to do anything. I need, like, double bomb tower on defense or something, so I'm going to have to try to get it back. I'm going to tank first shot with the wall breakers, and then I'll nato these back. Then I'll go for a minor on defense, tank the second shot with it. I'm going to go for spear gobs high, dodging the arrows. I'm going to go for a marcher again, and that is going to be a good game. He placed all of his spells, so he can't take out the skellies. Also, notice how I put them down low so that he wouldn't be able to get any mother witch valley. Let's go. That was clean defense, except for that one defense in single elixir where I got predicted, but except for that was good. Okay, I'm in my next match here. Facing Hiroto. This guy's a really good player. I think he has a top 10 finish, so I need to watch out. He also plays Marcher deck, but without a NATO. He plays like minor Marcher arrows with like goblins and bats and stuff. He might be playing a different deck right now, though. I don't know, but I'm gonna Marcher down low for the goblins. Not back to my log yet. Okay. 
I'm kind of tempted to go minor here. Yeah, I don't see why not, to be honest. I'll just go minor. He's probably going to think it's on the LP anyways. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, Marcher on tower. Wait. Okay, bomb tower here. Okay, I'm going to log too. I don't really need to NATO because I think the bomb tower is going to lock on the mortar and take out the LP as well. Okay, really, really, really good start, but I don't like this matchup. Because I know that this guy always plays arrows in the deck. See what he does here. But yeah, once again, I'm pretty positive he doesn't have like a zap or a log. Or a poison even. I'm going to NATO this. Maybe activate King Tower. No, it died too quick. I should have NATO'd like a second quicker so the first cannoneer wouldn't shoot again. But mm, that was not good. Okay, I need to bomb tower. Oh, I should have done that low. I am going to be dead here. I think I'm going to go spear gobs opposite because he's going to log. He's actually playing a log. Okay, I take that back. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. What am I sorry for? No, I'm not sorry. I know that he's playing arrows and log. I can promise you he's playing arrows. Like, this guy doesn't hop in a ladder match without the arrows. I promise. On everything, I know he's playing arrows. Okay, let me wall breakers to just kind of check it. Because this is going to be like a good value arrows. Look at that. Told you guys. Oh my god, let's go. Alright, I don't know what I got out of that, but I felt like a god after knowing that he had arrows in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so childish bro okay i need to go for minor logs this is gonna be really hard because arrows and log takes out my marcher so i need to be careful and i also don't have a knight for his minor so really bad matchup and mortar is just like an extra win condition that makes my life harder okay, he's gonna evil mortar i'm gonna predict it bomb tower right now maybe nice perfect he might knight so i'm gonna need a back okay never mind he didn't even bother to play a knight okay can i go for skeletons over here i guess that was a good decision to just not play the knight after getting predicted but i'm gonna go for a marcher on the side to kind of snipe out the lp i'm gonna go for a log too okay my tower is at 2600 and that miner is gonna take it down to like a thousand because the evil knight's tanking for it and now i'm not gonna be able to kill the miner dude the miner is getting 17 billion damage on my tower oh my god my tower went down from 2700 or 2600 to 1900 and now it's going to go lower because Era's log does so much damage and it also takes out my marcher. Okay, I don't know how to win this game anymore from this position. Like, this is actually really bad. Um, Spear Gob's in the middle. Okay, I need to play like Remy to win this now. I'm going to go for a Bomb Tower high. Evo Skelly's in the back. Nope, he's going to Arrows and then Miner, isn't he? Yep, there we go. Arrows, Miner, and I die. Okay, I'm going to Wall Breakers. Those are going to just run into the Mortar. Kind of bad Wall Breakers, but it's okay. I'm getting some damage on the Mortar. Okay, I'm gonna spear gobs in the back. Gonna skeletons over here. I could just marcher how to snipe the mortar, but I don't think I can reach that. Like, I don't think I can hit that. Can I? Oh my god, perfect log. Okay, hold on. Bomb tower high. Okay, wait, he put the evil mortar into it on purpose to kind of block the marcher. I'm gonna keep it ready. Okay, I'm not gonna put it down anymore. I'm gonna spear gobs in the middle. He might arrows. I need to watch out. I need to watch out. I need to watch out. Marcher on the side. Log. Miner. Ouch. A lot of damage. That better be on my spear gobs. Okay, didn't get a shot. All right, Evo Skeletons, come on, dude. I need to be able to do something. Like, this is so bad in double and triple. Like, so I didn't realize how bad it was in double and triple. I just can't get any damage now. I'm going to Miner, and then I'll just go for... Dude, I can't even... Hmm. Okay, spear gobs on the side. Going to Skeletons here. Okay. I'll try to hit, like, a, like a, maybe, like, a quick Log Marcher NATO. Marching NATO, maybe? Come on. Hit it. Two shots on the tower. Okay. Um, I'm going to Miner. I'm going to Skeletons here. Wait, I'm kind of catching up. Log. Oh, hit the Goblins. Please, please. If I come back from this, I'm actually a god. Wallbreakers. No. Got hit by the log. NATO. No. Get away. Okay. I'm going to Spear Gobs here. All right. If he plays a spell on the tower, he lost. Okay. Yeah, he lost. Let's go. I won that. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yikes. Okay. That matchup was horrible. Okay, on to my next match here. Gotta end on a win, so I'm probably gonna end the video after this. Gonna go for Spear Gobs on the right. This guy's playing Cannoneer, so it could be any kind of deck. But I feel like it's good if they have a Cannoneer, though. Oh my god, don't be Eagle him. Do not be Eagle him. No. Okay, Wallbreaker's behind the Skellies here. If he arrows, then I might just close the game. Okay, never mind. Even though I have a good matchup with this deck, I hate facing Eagle. But he played a Fireball, so this could be like an RG deck, I think. Yeah, it kind of looks like RG. I'm going to log here. I don't want to march with that because then the marcher would just get hooked in and then die. It would only get one shot, so it's not worth it. Maybe I'll try to march it like a phoenix or something later on, but this matchup, I don't even have to get marcher damage. I just have to defend well. Okay, see what he does here. Ooh, good damage off the spear gobs. I'm going to activate King Tower off the NATO here. Should not take a hit if I play it like this. Perfect. Should activate King Tower as well. Nice. 
All right, I'm gonna have to pull the bats away. I'm gonna try to pull it away opposite lane. Oh, those are not gonna follow, so I'm gonna have to go for wall breakers to kite one of those back. Okay, not too bad. I'm not gonna get damaged, but I am gonna be back to evil breakers next cycle, so this is good. I'm gonna minor in the back because I don't really have a mini tank for the queen. So if I minor the back like this, then I'm gonna bait out the ability at the bridge, and I can take it out with the help of the cannon here. Like if I go log here and then just go spare gobs, I think the queen's not gonna get any damage on my tower. All right, sweet. RG in the back. I'm definitely going to be able to defend that, but I want to bait out his like rage on my wall breakers maybe and then try to evo skeletons. I don't know. I want to get a lot of value off the evo skeletons. I don't know if I'll be able to though. I'll try to bait it out on the left here. Ooh, evo bats. Wait, I'll take that. That's really good actually. I baited out the evo barbs or not the evo barbs, the evo bats and I got damage on the tower. I'll take that. I'm going to go for a marcher. I might have to log and then go spare gobs here. Ooh, overcommit log. I didn't need it, but spare gobs right now. Yeah, I thought I was going to take damage. For some reason, I didn't think the ghost was going to go to my magic archer, but it actually ended up going to my magic archer, so that was kind of annoying. I'm going to go for wall breakers behind the marcher here. Try to push it off into the tower. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, it's going to die. Okay, not a problem, though. I'm going to go for skeletons here to take out the ghost. That should die to my cannon here. I'm going to go for a bomb tower in the middle. I'm going to have to defend, like, two RGs right now. I need to be super careful. Like, I'm going to have to go for, like, a marcher like this. He might try to fisherman me, probably. I'll let it happen though, like I can't really stop it, so I'll let it happen. I'm gonna go for a miner right here though to kind of tank for the spear gobs. Okay, that's a lot of damage on the right. Hold on, that's actually a ton of damage on the right. Okay, this push might actually end up being a lot of trouble. If I miner on defense here and then log it back, I'm not gonna take any damage, am I? Nope. Okay, that was really good defense. Honestly, thought I was going to take a lot more damage, but I took barely any. Took some from the bats, and that was it. Okay, I'm going to go for a bomb tower in the middle. I feel like you might try to go for Evo RG. Actually, let me go Evo Skeletons, and then I'll go bomb tower. Because that way, I bait out the rage, and then I can go bomb tower to clean up. Log for the fisherman. I don't really need anything for that, but just to be safe, I'm going to put the spare gobs. Oh my god, I did need the spare gobs. Wow. If I didn't put the spare gobs down, I think it would have taken like two shots, but it's okay. I'm going to go for skeletons on this. I'm actually going to try to snipe that. Like, I'm going to go for spare gobs and then marcher on this. Nice. Okay, perfect. Two hits. I'll take that, to be honest. It's going to get one tapped, but it's fine. I got two hits on the tower. I'll take it. This deck is so easy to play, man. You can just kind of play so aggressive and defend for cheap because cannoneer helps out a lot. And then just bomb tower in the middle. Tornado is like all you need for defense. In any kind of match, a bomb tower NATO gets a lot of value. And then March and NATO on offense, bomb tower NATO on defense. Like, it's so stupid, but it works. Gonna go for uh, Wahlbergers on the left to kind of tank for the spare gobs. Okay, he had to rage on it. Not too bad. I'm gonna go for a log right now on the right, and I'm gonna have to bomb tower here. Just gonna have to go for spare gobs on the left here. Pull that back, too, to kind of keep the bomb tower healthy. Sweet. Okay. RG should not get any damage on my tower. I almost feel bad. He can't get any damage on my tower. I'm going to go for a marcher predict on the ghost. Ooh. Okay, he played a fisherman, but if I nato like this, then I'm going to get a lot of damage here. Okay, that's going to be one more shot. No, it's not. I'm going to go for skeletons here. Going to wall breakers. And I'm back to my marcher. I could definitely marcher and then try to nato on the queen. But he's going to predict it, though. He's going to try to catch my marcher. So, yep, there it is. Fisherman at the bridge. I'm going to go for a miner on the tower. I need to kind of play good defense here. Oh, I might be cooked. Am I cooked? Oh, no. Okay, this is not very good. I'm going to nato that back because I need to nato the RGs back. Eat the bats for now because, I mean, bats don't really do much. Like, they do some damage, but not a lot. Okay, the RGs getting two hits. Maybe one more on my tower. No, only two. Nato back here. Just going to go for a bomb tower. Okay. He kind of tried to bring the game back there at the end, but still was not enough to bring it back. So, I'll take the one. I feel like the last miner I played on the tower was kind of over aggressive, so I took some damage, but it's okay. I won the game, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.